Alright, the next weapon is Pew Pew. You have to finish the Legend of the Star from the Sunset Sarsaparilla Headquarters from Festus. You have to find 50 Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. It's the Headquarters is... This game would make it easier to find stuff. I'd appreciate it. I just seen it too. Right there. You have to do the Legend of Star mission at the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters. And this is um, a very powerful laser pistol that it takes on like two shots really. Like, powerful laser pistol. Next weapon's a pulse gun and this is one of my uh, favorites too because it's a very effective against robots. It's an EMP weapon. It doesn't really kill like for instance Boone here because it's a only an EMP weapon. But it kills robots in one hit pretty much. Even sentry bots. It kills them one hit. See, that's pretty cool there. And you find this right with, right with the All-American. In the same armory, but you have to have very hard lockpick to unlock it. At Vault 34. Vault 34. Pushy. Um, pushy. Get where this was. Gotten so many weapons, I don't keep track of everywhere they were at. So, pushy, pushy. Okay, pushy. It was at the Ruby Hill mine. Right there. You just have to go in there and find it. Pretty much. I think it's on a dude. Yeah, it's on a body of a jackal gang guy. Let's see, okay. This is pretty cool how it um how it, when you hit someone it does this uh burst. Whoa, what the frick? I didn't do that before. I don't even remember doing that. I don't know what that was. Anyways, the Q35 Matter Modulator. It's a powerful plasma rifle. And this weapon is found at, um... Man. Wow, this weapon is found at... The Repcon headquarters. Whew, good thing I have some reference here, or I would never figure out, remember where the. Oh, there's Black Rock Camp, Cave if you want to know where the um, Paladin Toaster is. Headquarters is at. Should be north of Test Site, but. Don't remember. Well, anyways, it's at the Repcon headquarters, and a very hard uh, door where you could just go all the way around the building and get it too if you want to do that. All right. The next weapon. Oh, did I need to show you how this shoots? Quicker than any other plasma rifles on the game. The Rat Slayer. It's a varmint rifle, but it's uh, night vision scoped. It's and silenced. Pretty good. But it's not something you want to have the whole time. And um, the Rat Slayer is found at... Um, let me look at my reference here.
it is found at the Brock Flower Cave and once again I don't know where that is Brock, Brock Flower Cave right there it's found in there and uh, it's it's uh, found propped up against the desk inside the Brock Flower Cave pretty much by a desk all right next weapon is a Tesla beaten prototype Tesla cannon pretty much but it's orange it takes a lot of bullets well anyways this is found at the old vertebrate and I know where that is right there Crashed vertebrate. You have to find it by the vertebrate. But there's a whole bunch of robots there. This is an instance where you need that pulse gun because a pulse gun kills them all in one hit. Alright, next weapon's Thump Thump. And uh, Thump Thump is found at. Let's see here. It's found at Nellis Array. Boomer place, pretty much. Right up here. It's found in a on a dude. It's found on a dude. We're lying right by an ant mound, pretty much, in the Nellis Array. Reminds me of the China Lake from Call of Duty, pretty much. Alright, the next weapon's Vance's 9mm machine, submachine gun. Very accurate uh, 9mm submachine gun. And this is uh, found in the Wind's Hideout, just a little bit north of West Side. Oh, this is, here's Repcon headquarters for the modulator, too. Alright, the west side is right here. Just go a little bit north, like, round up here. And you should find the wind's hideout. It's a shack. And that's it for part one of Unique Weapons. Ah, oh, I used all my ammo. Ah. Alright, get ready for part two, guys.